Now, millions of people are sensitive to gluten or have celiac disease. And gluten is a type of protein that's found in grains like wheat and barley and rye. So basically, we're talking about breads, bagels, and pizza, some of my favorites. Surprisingly, one out of 133 people are sensitive to gluten and don't even know it. And in fact, you may be one of them. Well, my next guest says it is possible to live gluten-free and enjoy mealtime again. Nicole Hahn is the author of Gluten-Free on a Shoestring, and Dom Alcacer is the marketing manager of GlutenFreely.com. Welcome, guys. Thanks so much for coming in. Oh, thanks, thanks for having us. So the thing about gluten, first of all, you know, I, I, I couldn't live without the bread, right? But a lot of people say, oh, gluten-free, that means it doesn't taste good, right? They get that face, right? They get the face. But you say you can make deep dish pizza, and you do. And I do. Talk about it. That's and what we got so over here. You. Deep dish pizza. I mean, it's, this is modeled on the Pizzeria Uno original recipe. I just tweaked it a little bit. And it, I, I challenge you to tell me that that doesn't taste well, well, good. Well, how do you get around it? So, I mean, I'm looking at it. It looks like there's bread. What did you do uh, to make it look? I'm actually going to take a bite. So tell me what you did to make it like pizza. It is bread. You mm -hmm. know, you use, I use a substitute flour. I use an all-purpose mm -hmm. gluten-free flour. And it basically substitutes cup for cup. It needs like a little love here and there. It needs, it needs a little bit more moisture. But for the most part, life should be pretty much the same. Well, I got to tell you, it, it did taste the same. Now, an another big thing, you know, a lot of kids have these sensitivities, and the parents have such a hard time, right? You got to get them a treat. Lemon squares or lemon bars, a mm -hmm. very, very popular treat. You made these here; they're fantastic. Tell me, I mean, a little little sugar on top is is always good, but always. What did you do to make these so special? You know, it's really just a, a butter cookie crust mm -hmm. and then a custard, a lemon custard on top. And the only real substitution you have to make is an all-purpose gluten-free flour for the crust. And you're good to go. And you substitute it one-to-one, -one, like you said. Pretty much I right, see. So here's the best part about having your own show. You get to eat in between. So exactly. I'm going to taste this. Mm. I got to tell you, seriously, mm -hmm. you couldn't know. I you wouldn't know, know that was gluten-free. Well, don't tell anybody because mm. then they'll know. So. Okay, Dom, tell me about your website. Sure. Yeah. So. While uh, I swallow. Dr. Steve, <laughs> uh, glutenfreely.com is a new one-stop shop for everything that you need to live a gluten-free lifestyle from General Mills. The millions who have celiac disease, your whole life changes. It does. But, but it can change in a delicious way, and glutenfreely.com can help you find those ways with tips, tricks, medical information, and you can order food right online. Great. Okay, now we, we're going to do something called the egg in the hole. Nicole, let, let's go. How do we do this? We got a, we got a skillet cooking here, and we got a little bit of butter in here. So let's yes. go. We got okay. some gluten-free bread over here. We got some gluten-free bread. Uh huh. Dr. Steve, I've make done a this. Hole. I have to tell you something. I've done this with my kids. It is I so cool. Look at this. You got you got the hole in the bread. It is See that? really the coolest it's thing. It's like a hole right. in one. So okay. we put it in here. And you got to put the right. hole in there too. Okay. Because that's going to be like for later. Because it's terrific. All right. Exactly. So we got the heat going here. You let that cook a little mm -hmm. bit, right? And then all you're going to do. Take an egg. You're going to take an egg? Anybody could do this. Anybody could do this. A monkey right. could do this. Well, look, hey, we have a monkey doing it right you now. You see that? Okay. <laughs> so you're going to put the egg hey, in monkey, there. Hey, monkey, would you put the cover on there? <laughs> yeah, I could put the cover on here. Okay, so you're basically going to put the cover on, you cook it for a little bit. How long right. do you have to do that for? I'm going to give you it a know, little You know, it's until you start to see the white set. You can right. see it that it's setting already because you've right. just turned up the heat, which is great. Um, and then you're going to flip it. It probably, in about two minutes, maybe, you'll flip it. Okay. Um, and it's going to be browned and delicious, and the egg and the yogurt both going to be set and you do a few of those you stack them up maybe you put a little powder trigger on right top. right you, but the point is it's it's gluten-free bread it's gluten -free and bread. and it's eggs and it's protein and it's great all right nicole right. don thanks so much for coming in some really great information Thank all you. right you can find all of nicole's recipes it really is good stuff on drstevenshow.com it's a website all right up next i'm answering your questions plus your doctor's orders stick around this portion of dr steve is brought to you by gluten freely